What is going on guys, D21 Daily back with another MLB The Show video and today guys I want to break down to you what to expect from the new MLB 20 The Show video game. If you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't done so already subscribe, click that notification bell to be notified on my upcoming videos. So let's get right into it. So judging by the trailer it looks like um, there's a lot of similar things that we can see from MLB 19 The Show that will be transferred over to MLB 20 The Show. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video make sure you guys go check that one out and then come back to this one and check this video out guys. So like I was saying um, in this trailer we see a lot of similar things and I feel like on MLB 20 The Show, um, well for starters MLB 19 The Show was a big improvement. Um, MLB 18 was basically terrible in my opinion I, like the whole immortal situation was stupid ridiculous um, they weren't as consistent with their with their content as well um, but they fix a lot of the errors and a lot of content issues that they have by adding moments adding signature series cards and constantly giving us um, new cards and new like be um, better versions of each card and stuff like that in MLB 19 the show and the gameplay itself was okay too um, I felt like they did improve in a lot of the face, face scans. They were up to date with the batting stands and the animations for that. Um, so it was pretty cool. It was pretty dope. I, I, I love um, Diamond Dynasty on MLB 19 The Show. And I just hope that that transfers over to MLB 20 The Show. So what you should expect from Diamond Dynasty in general, which this video is all about. This video is strictly Diamond Dynasty. Um, I don't play Road to the Show, so I'm not going to do a video on that. But... Specifically for Diamond Dynasty, I expect them to do more or less the same thing and try to improve little bits and pieces of um, MLB 19 The Show. Because of how successful MLB 19 The Show was with Diamond Dynasty, I felt like you were, you were able to play for like 6 to 8 months maybe even more because of the fact that the content the content was so consistent and like you had something to play for every single time for example i i enjoyed the whole you get to pick um out of the three players you get to pick at least one player that you of your choosing you know i really enjoyed that i enjoyed the 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 first inning program second inning program third inning program um concept where you have to get program stars through either missions or actual like gameplay like playing the game um, you get program stars, you get custom bats, you get um, stubs, you get players for them for every time you reach a certain um, rep from the rep system um, with bronze, silver, etc, etc, gold, diamond, you know, so like all that in general was amazing and I, I, I would be very surprised if they changed that. Um, they'll probably implement little bits and pieces here and there for the program stars and for um, and for the rep system, but Honestly, if they kept it, I'll be perfectly fine with that. It was very good. Um, I enjoyed that. So don't expect anything out of this world when it comes to Diamond Dynasty. I really do hope that they um, change the uniform patterns, um, make it different, which um, MLB um, posted actually on their Instagram to that you're allowed to use your vote, um, your logo, um, your logo into the logo vault um, or whatever. So then that way, like, you can transfer over your logo to MLB 20. So that's pretty dope as well that you could, like, transfer over your logo and stuff like that. So I'm guessing they're going to do something cool with when it comes to something like that um, with, for the uniforms and for the logos and all that. I feel like, um, like, people want classic teams. People want to be able to use the Brooklyn Dodgers. People want to be able to use the classic Yankees, the classic Red Sox, the Arizona Diamondbacks, the Florida Marlins teams like that with their color patterns and all that and it's pretty difficult to customize the the uniform in that way so i feel like um they should like implement that as well be able to like copy the logo of that of that classic team and and be able to design your team with all of that so i expect them to make a little bit of changes when it comes to the uniforms nothing big but um changes that you can see Will improve the game and improve the fee um the like customizing your team and its feature and stuff like that. When it comes to the gameplay for Diamond Dynasty, um, I expect them to add like, um, like certain animations are different and new, which they do in every single game. But they have to take out some animations that have been going on for years now. Um, 
I don't have any animations by the top of my head, but I know for sure like there's there's a lot of animations when I'm playing that are the same thing, you know, and and it's it's ridiculous, bro. Like 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 2K does the same thing where the, you can see the same animations over and over and over and over. Like change it up, clean it up give us new animations and I believe they will man these people listen to the community these people always try to improve and re um, reinvent themselves when it comes to Diamond Dynasty and their play and their their gameplay and stuff like that so I expect them to not change the game so much to a drastic um, a drastic change or anything like that but something that can give us a good solid quality game heading to the PS5 um, don't forget this guy this game comes out um, like this is gonna be the last game on the PS4 when this game comes out. So PS5 will be up and load, uh, up and ready to go by the end of the year. So for MLB 21 to show, they want to make a big step to that direction. Um, for sports games, it's been kind of lacking right now. Um, like 2K, for example, I'm, I play 2K as you guys know from my channel, and 2K is dead. Like three, four months in, it's been dead. You know, and MLB the Show has a has a chance right now to bring people back to the MLB the show grind and bring people back to wanting to play Diamond Dynasty and wanting to play Road to the Show, wanting to play this type of game. So MLB the show right now has the edge on game on gameplay, on on the servers, on like content itself. You know, MLB the show has its edge and I feel like this is could this could be a big leap for MLB the show. Um in terms of um, winning up, winning a fan base over, and getting a lot of people to come to MLB the Show and trying it out and playing it, because a lot of people um, that I know that play 2K just stop playing it, you know. And MLB the Show, I remember night this this for MLB 19 the show, I was playing all the way to like the seventh inning program, you know. So I was playing for a good seven months, more or less. So like it was very it was very competitive it gets very competitive and as long as they stay with you being able to play for something for example not only do you play for the program stars but you can also play the moments but if you're not into a moment if you're not a moment type of guy or whatever you have something to play for with the rep system you have something to play for for rank seasons and winning a, 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 a signature series card and stuff like that so you have things to play for you know for 2k you once you become a demigod that's it you know so different games like that even for foot for madden and and for any sports game you know mlb the show does, is, does a very good job on making you play for something and i i don't expect that to ever change from mlb the show but instead make that build from that and make that their strong concept like make that what they are known for you know being able to have the consumer um purchase the game play the game and play it for a long period of time you know that's what i'm gonna be the show strives at and that's what i feel like they would do for this upcoming game this upcoming game has a big big chance to be one of the top games of the year um playing wise and and and, and just overall it has the chance to literally be the game of the year because of the fact that they're super consistent with their content so what you guys should expect is a very solid game um maybe a little bit better than mlb 19 the show but don't try to put your hopes that high um, I feel like they will improve certain things, but it will kind of be sort of the same thing. Maybe little bits of improvements here and there, but overall, it's going to be a solid game, leading us to the PS5 and making us excited, even more excited than we already are, for the MLB 21 launch day, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't seen my recent video, make sure you guys go check that one out. And if you haven't done so already please make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified on my next video guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one peace